located in Taipei 101, the 73 floor. Yeah. And most people uh, probably can Google lots of pictures of their office in Taipei 101. I just put some for everybody to take a look. And probably most people wouldn't know that uh, Google has a data center in Zhanghua. It's in Zhanghua Coastal Industrial Park. It is uh, Google is proud to call Zhanghua Country home to one of our data centers. In December 2013, Google announced the opening of our facility that represents a total long-term investment of US 600 million. It just uh, opened uh, last year, a uh, couple years ago, I think. A couple months ago, I think. Sorry. And this is the, its picture. In the shadow of windmills, it is located about three hours down the coast from Taipei. Drive. Yes, sorry, driving. And it, it has a night, nighttime cooling system. A nighttime cooling system works by cooling water at night. When temperatures are cooler, storing the cool water in the large salted tanks where it retains the temperature before being pumped through other facility to cool, to cool the service during the day. It is the new technology of uh, Google. And also it's an office, the office in Zhanghua. It's a local inspired styling. All is established. So hi, I'm Ramon. I represent you as a rocket management solution. So on the market of uh, new technology, uh, Google has uh, many various <laughs> sorry has uh, many uh, strong uh, co uh, um, concurrency and competition. Sorry, sorry competition. Uh, like uh, Facebook, uh, Apple, or uh, uh, and uh, they, they, they need to, to be uh, innovating uh, to attract uh, new new talent. Uh, so they they change the, the way to hire people. So some figure of uh, Google. Uh, they, uh, they receive more than uh, 1,300 uh, results every day. <coughs> and uh, they have uh, 46,000 uh, people all around the world. And uh, the medium age of employee is uh, 27 years old, so it's very, 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 you can see. Um, so the, the recruitment process for attracting the individual of group on timely basic and uh, well, you can read and uh, sufficient uh, and that with appropriate qualification to apply a job in the organization and the selection is set for process through scrutinizing the recruitment process and files the most appropriate profile for the vacation position. So there is a two type of uh, hiring people. Uh, some people ask Google to work in their company and uh, for the um, uh, CAO uh, or very um, um, executive management. It's Google who uh, choose people and uh, ask them to, to work for for for, for them. Uh, 
uh, the selection of the resume, usually uh, there is uh, 40,000 of, uh, the, of uh, the, the demand is uh, uh, 500,000. So, professor, if you want to, to work for Google, uh, I hope for you, you will be in the 40,000. Uh, and uh, what you should to do to, to be hired by, by Google? So, you, you will have a, an interview. Uh, after the, this interview, they are just returning uh, 1,500 of uh, this uh, 40,000. Uh, 40, so, I hope to you, you will be returning. And after what happened, uh, you have the first uh, the briefing with the work writer, so like uh, usually in the company. But um, they, they will, what's the difference? It's after you have a meeting with an uh, independent committee of the recruitment of Google. It's a kind of uh, business ethic, you know, to um, um, consult the, the partnership with us, uh, with, uh, a bit with uh, someone. And um, you, there is a checkout of the publication by an, uh, an expert, a meeting regulation after, as a community. A validation by the one of the leader and the proposal at the end of the applicant. And uh, the interview is a new method because uh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't just ask you uh, your CV or what did you do before or uh, something like that. But there is an enigma and uh, they try to hire very creative people and uh, new, new talent. So, for example, they ask you an uh, enigma and uh, there is not a right or false response. They just ask you the, the way to do and uh, with this they can, uh, they can find if you are creative, if you have imagination uh, or not. Uh, the recruitment selection and the culture, the, you, you need to, to have a very strong culture of the, the company. Uh, the know the, his objective and uh, his value. Be passionate about the job. Uh, connection relationship within the different office. Uh, because at the beginning you, you need to uh, know uh, someone, but you are not high because you know someone. And uh, the work and life balance. Uh, they really care about your life. Uh, before uh, the interview, they, they do a, a pack. Uh, it's a 40 to uh, 50 uh, page about your life with uh, all uh, they can find on you on uh, Facebook, Google and uh, all, all, uh, all the way. And uh, they, really, uh, they really know you uh, when you, you come for the interview. Uh, what is the Google looking for? They want uh, leadership. Uh, they want a role related uh, knowledge, so a potential employee who have a variety of skills of patient experience is what permit Excel uh, to Google to Excel. And uh, they really care about your way of think and uh, the Google awareness. Uh, how they decide, so collecting feedback, what I said, and uh, independent committee and, and at the end. I am Anno and then I will um, present you the training and development uh, of Google company. Uh, so first you have to know that Google uh, really wants to encourage the employee. They, they don't want to, oh sorry, just to focus on the uh, traditional training. They, they really want uh, that the employee feel well and they learn the job. And uh, the policy of Google is that employees have many opportunities to learn and grow in the company. And uh, each employee can uh, participate in projects and each employee is responsible of their own area of work. They are really autonomous. And uh, it's mandatory for all employees to attend the training and development session. And it's a minimum of 100, uh, 120 hours per year. So it really shows that uh, Google put a lot of efforts, time and money to invest in its employee so that they can feel uh, well. And for the professional and developing training, there are four things. First, there is the content developing writing, um, an executive speaking, a delivering feedback, and the management leadership. 
And they also uh, as a choice to, to choose foreign language lessons. So it's free, they have nothing to pay, and they can choose, for example, to learn French, Chinese, Spanish, or Japanese. And there will be multiple spaces of communication, so uh, that's why it's the sense of the world meaning. Also, we also know that Google is ranked as the top five of uh, 100 best companies to work for. I believe that most of us would like to work for Google because they're a uh, really good system in HR function. And um, this is how they <coughs> how they arrange the time. And uh, it's the mechanism is based on the peer culture over his ideas to colleagues, which means that actually, like the Gmail, Google News, and blah, 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 they're actually from some uh, certain pe people's uh, idea from individual person. And then the group, they just put those ideas to the group. And then they make it better and better. Also, they avoid being, being too seriously, like what is this? Very cool. You can take money without doing evil. You can be serious without a suit. So that's why they uh, they they say you can be very casual, being just wear the t-shirt and working in the office is totally okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna talk about a little bit the business strategy model of Google. The business strategy basically around one cent, get uh, one concept, get people to use internet, internet more. Because um, Google is most popular for its search engine, and it provides its service to internet users for free. So if there's more people get online, they can make more money. And also, Google's efforts are focused on improving internet access and speed. That is, the more time people spend on the internet and more time they were engaged in revenue in gathering activities such as viewing and clicking display ads and performing researches. Google developed with this goal of shortening the distance between any activities and the internet. For example, the Google Chrome, what, uh, many of us might know this, and Android system. It is the resource that Google is a resource that the software that a mobile phone can use on and also the Google Glasses. Google Glasses is a wearable computer with an optical and multi display. And also, like I just said, uh, Google makes profits from its Google AdWords. It is a self-serve auction-based advertising program. Most advisors pay Google on a cost per click, clickbacks, which means that advisors pay when users click their ads. Google helps advisors extend their ad campaigns to Google network members' website through this. And there are four key cost elements of Google. Uh, there are R&D, research and development, and data center operations like, uh, the, like, uh, like the one in, located in Zhanghua, and other traffic acquisition, and sales and marketing. What do you mean? Oh, I'm just go going to talk. Uh, the traffic equation is like a, a cost, a compromise of money paid to the Google network website under the AdSense program and to the distribution partners to distribute Google toolbar and other products to drive traffic to the Google website. And also the R&D uh, department. Google invests heavily into R&D to create new products. and also the sales and marketing department. Google, uh, the, cost, uh, include the, the cost of management, global sales, and support the teams as well as advertising and the pro promotional expenditure. 
And we can see from the, the this graph, we can see the four E's of Google strategy. The first is earn. Like I just uh, talked about, Google earns the most profit from their AdWords, their advertisement. And the second is entice and defeat. And the second is expand the point, like the like this when the Google Glasses or Android system. And also we can learn from another draft to know what the Google's uh, in products extend, like a uh, Google Map, Google Earth, or YouTube. Yes. And finally, there's a brief uh, Google SWOT analysis, uh, 2013. First, there's chance we will talk about. We were just previous talk of, talked, like open source products and service, quality and customer experiences, and financial situation, because it's a very good, very big company, and access to the widest group of the internet, and uh, products integration, culture of innovation, that's just a brief organization of this SWOT analysis. So I have now I will talk to you to human resources as a transition partner uh, for business. So uh, first, um, firstly, what what is a strategic uh, partner? Uh, what is, uh, when you are a company, uh, all company has a, st a strategy, and uh, it's the uh, first way you give uh, money to your, your your income. So we can talk about R and D, uh, which is in the development. And um, many parts of company uh, give money to improve the, the factory, for example, but they never give money to human resources to improve uh, the, the hiring. And it's what uh, did um, Google, because um, they, they think they, they need a very um, a new talent to improve the, the product and earn more money. So, what is the use of person uh, of uh, HR? Uh, we, I saw some uh, a video uh, how it's seen by employee usually. So we have uh, several uh, roles like uh, paperwork, bureaucracy, administration, uh, policing arm of executive management, wage, layoff. So it's very uh, bad image of uh, human resource. But I think uh, human resource is the heart of uh, the company, and uh, we really need to, to change this image and uh, really um, uh, try to, to develop a good human resource to increase our income uh, of the company. Uh, at Google, the human resource is a pulse, uh, people operation. And uh, it doesn't mean uh, dad, uh, daddy in, uh, in English. So it's, it's uh, for Google, human resources look like uh, your father, your mentor, and uh, it's someone who take care of you. Um, and the human resources is really the strategic partner of uh, Google. And uh, they, they give to uh, uh, human resources a very, very high budget to hire the best people on the market and uh, they compare uh, the human resource like uh, a way of production and engineering. So uh, I, I found uh, this sentence of uh, Prostate City, the individual analysis responsible uh, of uh, Google and uh, he say that uh, they, um, they do like a scientist to hire people and to work with people. So what does it mean? They, um, they have a, a laboratory, the Pine Lab name, uh, with a social scientists, and uh, they do many uh, that experience, that study uh, about uh, an employee of the, the company, and uh, they, they, they do many uh, statistics. Uh, all, uh, all months, you are evaluated uh, by a questionnaire, and uh, it's for many things. And uh, with uh, this uh, statistic, they, uh, they can find some evidence and they improve the, the life of people in the, in the, the company. 
So, uh, why they give money to human resources is to uh, improve the, the profit profitability. There is two ways to improve the profitability. Improve your employee performance or reduce your cost. So, you, you, need to, you must know that um, uh, hiring people is very expensive. Uh, because uh, you, you don't, uh, it's very long. There is uh, five interview, and uh, they can uh, have uh, six months to hire someone. So it's very expensive. So when you hire someone, you, you can't do a mistake. It's impossible. You you should you you need to success, and you need to hire the good people. Um, so they, they really improve the hiring with uh, the new method to hire people, as I said before. And uh, they also improve the employee life to keep the employee in the in the company uh, because when uh, comp when uh, um, uh, sorry employee go away you, you lose money because you, you need to hire uh, other people and for example with uh, the laboratory they find they found that um, many girls uh, women. Uh, lead the, the company. So they, they did uh, some um, uh, statistics and they, they found it's because when they, they have a baby, they, they can't stay uh, at, uh, the, in the company at work. So they decide to, to give more uh, vacation uh, to the woman who have uh, a baby and uh, they give uh, more, uh, five months more than uh, the usual uh, period. And you can say with uh, all their, their wage. So you can say maybe they will lose money, but no, they, 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 find, they find that they earn money in uh, doing that because um, it's uh, cheaper to keep your employee and uh, give them uh, more vacation and more money than hiring uh, other people. And uh, they also uh, have notation uh, on the manager. And uh, if you have uh, two bad notation, you you have layoff. So you need to, to be good. And uh, people who are uh, on the um, under the average um, uh, average notation. Uh, have uh, formation to improve the, the notation and uh, since uh, 2008 the global uh, notation of uh, manager are increasing so with uh, this way of, uh, of, um, with this with this way we can see that um, the scientist way is a really a good thing and the partnership I think is a, a, part, a strategic partner is a really a good thing and you can increase the income of the company and the profitability uh, sorry profitability of the company. Just a change of the words, but a fundamental change in approach. How we already treat employees at high tech companies, and uh, in fashion, how every company will treat their employees 30 years from now. And the other thing is, they have the people analytics team. Uh, the people analytics team reports directly to the VP and it has a representation in each major HR function. Definitely, all people decisions at Google are based on data and analytics. The, uh, the goal is to bring the same level of rigor to people decisions that we do to energy decisions. But, oh, sorry for the comments. Why do you choose to do this approach? There are some reasons. The first one is leadership characteristics and the role of managers. The data proves that rather than uh, super technical knowledges, there is a one on one coaching which included pressing history in the employee and frequent uh, personalized, personalized 
feel that rank as the one number one key to being a successful leader. And the second one is, oh sorry, the second one is. Uh, predict modeling. People management is uh, more looking at Google as a result. It developed uh, predict models and it improved their forecast of in upcoming people management problems and opportunities. And that and that's what is improving diversity. The people analytics team uh, conducted uh, analysis to identify the root cause of weak diversity on recruiting, retaining, and promotions, especially among the women engineers. And that's what is an effective hiring uh, algorithm. Um, Google developed an uh, algorithm for predicting which candidates had the highest probability of succeeding after they are hired. Google is also unique in its strategy approach to hiring because um, they don't really do the decision on um, individual. Instead of this, they do it in a group to avoid uh, if the manager just want to hire some people for their own shortened sex. And uh, the uh, the next one is to uh, calculate the value of the staff's performance. Providing the value of uh, the, the top talent convinces the student to um, provide the resources necessary to hire, retain, and develop uh, extraordinary talent. Also, it doesn't dedicate, it convinces with data. The final key to Google's people analysis team is success occurs not during the analysis stage, but instead of that, when it presents its final proposals to those managers, rather than demanding or forcing those managers to do those approach or to, uh, to take those decisions, they put them with data so it's more convincing. So, even if Google is a big company, there is also a human resources issue. So, what are they? First, there is overqualified employees. So, like Roman said before, there is an incredible number of people applying for a job at Google, and it's quite difficult for them to to hire the right person. So, what they do is that they select uh, only the most qualified of them. What are the consequences of that? Is that they are uh, generally too qualified for the tax. Uh, task that they have to do. Uh, one employee said that students from the top 10 US university are responsible for the moderation of YouTube. So uh, I think that there they, they was not the job that they wanted to do, uh, integrating one of the best uh, university uh, in the uh, United States. And it's also difficult for employees to rise rapidly uh, the hierarchy. Why? Because there is only eight um, rank between the CEO and uh, general employees. And there is also a competitive atmosphere because is, uh, there is a lot of overabundance of talents. And here, uh, exceptional becomes a normality. Everybody is really intelligent. They have a lot of skills, so it's quite difficult to make and find this uh, right place. So it's uh, caused bad relationships uh, between employees and some of them can feel bad with that and they can, I think they, they will just change the job because of the relation uh, with the other employees. Um, another reason is that uh, employees have too much autonomy so it's, it can be good but there is also a uh, problem with that. Uh, first, uh, in Google company uh, we can say that it's a world of young adults with sometimes immature behavior so, uh, like we can see in the picture, some are riding a bike in the office. They are, they can do a nap whenever they want. They are massive chairs. They can play video games, etc. And uh, it's a degenerate atmosphere of geek culture, and uh, it can be difficult to 
work and feel quietly in this atmosphere. Uh, and uh, as I said before, each employee are responsible of their own um, areas of work, their own project. So it can be a little dangerous for Google because if employee doesn't want to work hard and is lazy, and uh, so it's inefficient, Google can lose money. And uh, it can also uh, bring to the incompleteness of the objective of Google. Uh, it can also be a waste of time because in this market, uh, competitors are really innovative. And if Google wastes time with employees that doesn't want to work, they will uh, absolutely lose market share. And finally, uh, Google promises uh, are not always respected. I mean, for the example, on the website for recruiting people, they say that uh, it's an exciting job and a mark on the world. But uh, in uh, reality, employees say that there are limited responsibilities in the company because all the decisions are taken by top managers. And uh, they told to new employees that it's recommended for them to ask for a writing contact, contract, uh, for example, for wages, benefits, because they are not always uh, respected when it's uh, in the work contract. So that's why uh, it should be a writing contract. So, the recommendation um, is not to, to be honest, it's not really easy to, to find some recommendation for Google because uh, since uh, 2009, it's the best company in the USA and uh, for people, the art people and everybody want to, to work in this company and everybody think it's the best company. Uh, so we can recommend them to, to continue uh, like this and this way. Um, and one more thing is uh, for uh, improve the profitability of the, of the company. How I said, you, you should to, uh, to improve uh, your employee profit. So when a uh, human resource manager uh, hire uh, some people, maybe they, they, they must to, they, they need to, to have a formation about uh, economic concept. Uh, it's one of the recommendations. Uh, we can also provide a, a supervisory board because uh, if you always think by uh, profitability, 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 at the end, maybe they can, uh, they, it can have uh, some problem, uh, and you, maybe we can have uh, a supervisory board to supervise, uh, supervise all, all this, uh, this stuff. Uh, we can also create a school because hiring people is very expensive, and if you create a school, you can train your one student, and after they work for you. So maybe it's a new solution to attract some uh, some people. You can have a free school, and uh, you can attract very new talent, and uh, you know them uh, better, and, and you can hire them uh, more easily. And uh, we can also improve the office, how I said Manon, because uh, if you want to, to work uh, Currently, it's not always easy. So maybe the space for employees are very good, but maybe they also need some space more more quiet. So thank you for for your attention. Uh, we are sorry for the PowerPoint because we did it uh, with uh, Apple, and uh, at the end it disturbed a bit uh, the, the presentation. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.